What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with the wraparound. We're going to be breaking down the NHL action going down on Monday, May 20th, 2024. If you like this content, make sure you smash that thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. We appreciate all the love and support we've gotten here at Pick Dogs over the years. I appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to tune into the wraparound so I can put you on some free pick NHL winners. If you're looking for my best bets on the board, the games that I absolutely love, head to PickDogs.com, click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. I got MLB action on the board. My MLB pickoff play, we've hit it five days in a row, going to be in the mix for six on Monday to start the week strong. Also got my MLB triple play with that $19 play included in there. But the best value is to hop on a long-term pass. We still got the NBA and NHL playoffs rolling. Still number three on the MLB leaderboards as well. So we're you know, having a lot of success early on in baseball season. And it's just one, it's a money-making Monday. We're here to make some money, start the week strong, build up that bankroll. So definitely something you want to check out is those long-term passes. Buying those daily passes, you know, we can make you money on Monday, but they tend to get expensive the longer you, you buy them day after day. The long-term passes, they maximize your value. They stretch out your dollar. They get you every single week play. We make a pick dogs premium. You can also pair me up with any of your other favorite handicappers as part of our multi-capper promotion. But whatever you choose to do, make sure you use that promo code PICK at checkout for 15% off your purchase. But we still got our morning show on Monday. We got the drive through at 6 p.m. Eastern. We're here to talk about Game 7 on uh, on Monday. You know, we're here, so let's just do it. Let's get let's do the damn thing. You know the drill. You ready? I'm ready. Let's get into it. The lone game on Monday's card takes us to Rogers Arena for Game 7 between the Canucks and the Oilers. And finally, we had a game in this series that was not decided by a single goal as the Edmonton Oilers. Even the series up at three wins apiece, and now we head back to Vancouver for Game 7. And I hate to sound like a broken record, but if you've been following me over the course of this series, you probably know where I'm going. I'm taking the Canucks here. You know, I know Brock Besser missing this game because of blood clotting issues, and hopefully, obviously, he gets those resolved. But again, the Canucks are more than just Brock Besser. Is he one of their better players? Yes, he is. However... I still believe that the Oilers are just still a little bit top-heavy for my liking in terms of their offensive production. A lot of times they've had to rely on Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl. Now they are getting secondary scoring from guys like Zach Hyman and Ryan Nugent Hopkins, but the Canucks are still a team that won their division this year. They played really well. The Edmonton Oilers are a team that is a much, much better team at home. On the road, they yes, they've been able to win in, in this series, but... No team in this series has been able to win back-to-back -back games. A lot of these games have been fairly competitive. A lot of them have been fairly close. And I don't expect the Vancouver Canucks just to roll over just because they, they fell flat in game six. You know, is Silo's a young goaltender that, you know, is probably, this is probably going to be the, the biggest game of his career? Most likely. Would it surprise me if, you, you know, if, if the, uh, the Canucks went with Casey DeSmith for some veteran presence in goal? A little bit, but I could see that I could see the, their justification behind it considering he's been in this kind of situation before. But the thing for me here is that the Canucks have just been more consistent across the board. We've seen peaks and valleys with the Edmonton Oilers all year long. And I think Stewart, I think um, Stuart Skinner in game six, you know, playing as well as he did, was him more about just proving a point that it didn't make sense for the Oilers to switch to Calvin Pickard for game five. I think that was just his, his sort of step up game saying, Hey, you made the wrong choice, and now I'm going to prove it to you. And he did that in Game 6. But in Vancouver, in what's been a hostile environment, in front of fans that want to see this Canucks team get into the Conference Finals, get back to the Stanley Cup, I got to, I, I just, I can't pass up this price. Again, if you were giving me the Oilers at something around minus 130, we can have that discussion. But the line is ballooned after the Besser news from minus 140 to, for the Oilers, up to around minus 165. I can't do it. Give me the Canucks here, plus the goal and a half if you're looking for a parlay piece. But I'm going money line as well at plus 140. That's it. That's all the NHL action for Monday, May 20th, 2024. If you like this content, make sure you smash that thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell in the description of this video below to get notified when the newest and freshest content drops here at Pick Dogs. If you're looking for my best bets, again, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. And make sure to let me know your NHL picks in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Good luck.